Assalamu alaikum you guys and welcome to episode 2 of Otaku's Tea Time and today is a very special day and the the host I'm about to not the host but the guest that I'm about to bring today is a good one and his name in, the, in his YouTube channel is AnimeX say hi How's it going guys? I'm Mihai Zach from AnimeX it's a really big honor to be on this guy's podcast today we're going to talk about anime as always as what always. else can we talk about and for today's topic it'll be isekai last time we talked about favorite anime the top five animes but today would be isekai in general the problem about isekai uh why is isekai been shunned all right so in case of isekai like what introduced you to isekai well um the first isekai that i've watched i mean I think this is uh, also for most uh, anime folk out there. Yeah. Sword Art Online. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Because, like, Sword Art Online, everybody knows about it. Yep. Yeah. Like, every anime fan talks about Sword Art Online. Even though they haven't watched it, they will still talk about it because other people are talking about it. So, mm-hmm. so to me, Sword Art Online was the first Isekai anime that I've watched, you know? So, that's what actually got me into watching more Isekai. Yeah. Say, just to ask a question, right? Um, do you hate Sword Online as many other people do? Mm, I don't hate it, you know? I, for one, it, my, uh, Sword Art Online will always be my top 10 favorite anime. Right. Now, um, I kind of understand why other people hate it, mainly because of season 2. Mm-hmm. You know, like the whole character development wasn't that well portrayed out there you know mm-hmm. like in season one you start with episode one with the story everything starts normal but then suddenly in episode two uh they're already floor 20 something so you know the character development wasn't that well portrayed yeah. but the one thing that i would say that i didn't like was in season two i mean the part after fa- the fatal bullet arc with shinon and uh uh, Kyuto so. on GGO yeah. wasn't really like to me it was kind of like a f- like filler arc like all those arcs were uh, you know the Excalibur arc and yeah. uh, uh, arc. I they totally were, agree to me they were like filler arcs Yes, because like the Rosario arc where like they found this girl called Yuki, she's apparently like a very professional swordsman that can do like 11 combos. I'm like, okay, this is definitely sad. Okay, spoiler alert for everyone, I'm, I'm about to do it as an annotation. Um, the thing is, it's very sad, even I shed a tear, but for me, it's kind of like them just filling, filling in the episode instead of trying to continue um, the arcs and the story in general. So it's much more of a reactive episode than a proactive thing. Because once after DGO is finished, SEO is finished, they're kind of like, okay, so what do we do now? And then the, the other guy's like, you make them cry. Yeah. Like, are you kidding but me? But then, if you actually think about it, like, if you look into it close enough, you know, the, the main parts, like, all of season one and then the first part of season two, mm-hmm. they were all focused more on Kirito. But then, yeah. like, the second half of season two was focusing more on Asuna. So yeah. I think they were trying to you know, focus on both main characters at the same time. Instead of focusing everything on Kirito, um, they want to give some parts to Asuna, which is why at the end of season two, she got the skill of Mother, uh, Mother Rosario. Yeah, definitely. From Yuki. Say, speaking about character development, have you watched Grimgar? No. Okay, um, I really recommend you watching it. It's also, it's, a, it's also an isekai anime. That anime, for me, it deserves much more... Um, you could say attention because that anime in general is character development the anime because I love it I love the way how I mean in case of like um, like world building not so much heck the whole seven episodes you'll understand for yourself but freaking like that's what you call character building you know like understanding the characters unlike SAO only in season two then they want to develop on Asuna for me if they really want to do so they could have done it in the first season I mean they kind of did in the halfway where they make where they make Asuna mother like instead of being a Sundere that wants to kill uh, Kirito (laughs) but you know like they could have done it earlier like but why season two you know what I mean I mean like it's it's their anime but still Mm Say, um, have you watched Reincarnated Slime? 
Yes, I watch it every week. Oh my god! Listen, I, I haven't I haven't caught up. I'm in episode four. <laughs> I'm in episode four. Don't you dare spoil me! Don't you dare spoil me! Okay, I freaking I freaking love it. Like, like hands down. It's amazing. I mean, they do take like, the trope of oh, I'm I'm an OP character, but at the same time, it's like I don't know. It's just so it feels so fresh. I mean, it's the same thing over and over again. You know, the guy just transporting the other world, and it's so I like it how it's a slime. It's able to just like devour things and try to imitate it as it, and it's, able, oh, it's just so cool. And I'm still I'm still curious about the naming thing. Okay, so that's also a spoiler, but like freaking apparently when he names something like. It has to consume magic at the same time. So exactly. that was interesting. Even the wolf, like his name is. If I'm, if I'm thinking, uh, his name is. Oh my ah. Uh, Ronga. Yes, Ronga Tempest. Ronga Tempest. And since Tempest is also the dragon's name, so I'm. Don't you dare tell me! I swear, <laughs> I, I'm freaking. <laughs> I am curious as hell. Heck, his freaking tail when he just whips his tail, freaking brings shock waves. You know, I know it's crazy. You know, I can't wait for the time where Veldora will come back out. Everybody's gonna be like, "What? Oh man, you were inside this slime all along, right?" It's gonna be sick. Oh my god, there's one. I'm, I'm, I'm one thing I like about uh, reincarnated as a slime. Like if you watched um, the all the other isekai that came out in 2018, like How Not to Summon the Demon Lord, Death March, and Conception. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, reincarnated as a slime was like it. It went back to the roots of isekai. Like everything, like from the very beginning when isekai started being a thing, um, reincarnated as a slime captured everything. Definitely. You know, it was very, very different than the other ones. Yeah. Even though, yeah, at the beginning, you know, the guy dies, gets transported into another world, mm-hmm. and gets a lot of skills. But then, the character development and the whole world building and the way they uh, make everything revolve around the slime itself, it's very, very, like, it, it just keeps you focused more on uh, the anime, and then they want to make you watch it more and again and again, you know? It's something that makes you wait for the next episode, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Unlike some of the other isekai where, you know, like, how not to summon the demon lord, you know? Um, yeah, I know that. Diablo is yeah. so OP, and you kind of know what's going to happen in the next episode. Mm-hmm. And I, for one, like, uh, at the ending of uh, how not to summon the demon lord, yeah. uh, everybody was expecting some super huge fight between uh, Diablo and the demon lord from that world. Yeah. And then suddenly they bring us the huge twist that the Demon Lord has amnesia. <laughs> you know, it just kind of spoils the whole vibe. I mean, the, the whole build up from the very beginning of the anime, and then at the end, you're just going to bring us down with that huge bombshell. Definitely. I mean, then again, but, uh, but then again, in case of, of, of like timing, you know, because like 24 episodes is definitely a minimal. That's why Reincarnated as Slime, everyone's finding it like very comfortable because there's enough time to talk about the characters giving them uh, character development giving the world to expand but since like yeah. uh, summon uh, summon demon lord is only like 12 to 13 episodes because i haven't watched it all yet thank you for giving me the spoiler um yeah. <laughs> but um uh, freaking that is true you know um if if let's just say if they have a strong beginning and all of a sudden it just slip until the end, it's definitely a bummer. But then again, I can't really blame it. That's why in Grimgar, I feel like ah, if only they did yeah. this, if only they did that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. Mm-hmm. Okay, just for the last question, would you say Isekai is just too overrated? Well, uh, overrated. Like, you know. Isekai is like that genre that each year and each new season of anime, there will always be at least one Isekai. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you, every year you would expect a few Isekai to come out. That's for sure. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so no matter what um, year it is or no matter what season it is, you will know for sure that you will find that one Isekai in that particular season. Like, um, the last year. We had, I think we had like five or six isekai. Mm-hmm, definitely. Actually, more than that, but yeah. That's a, 
like we have Grimgar, we had um, we had Konosuba, we had uh, there's there's so many. Uh, I forgot last year, but there was so much, and I definitely yeah. can't keep up. Mm-hmm. Death March, Conception. Yep. Concep- Out of the Sun, Demon Lord. Conception is Great this year, me. if I'm not mistaken. Wait, no, 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 no. It's not this year. It's last year, but end of last year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah true. 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 All right. Cool. I can't. I can't watch the whole conception. I'm so sorry. It's freaking. I watched everything and <laughs> it got on my nerves. How did you do that? How do you have the patience? Once I saw the anime, I can't stop watching it, even though it's bad. Okay, there are three of them that I haven't watched though. That I I know for sure that there are three animes that I started but I haven't finished okay. because they were just too annoying for me. All right, go on. Yeah. One was Black Rock Shooter because I seriously did not understand anything Black from Rock that Shooter. anime. Okay. Black Rock Shooter, you know, I did not understand anything. Then there's Only I, mm-hmm. another incest uh, anime. You know, <laughs> I'm not really against incest anime, but seriously, the sister in that anime was way too annoying. Like, every time you would expect something like the brother to finally do something cool, mm. she would just intervene. So I was like, no, no. It's just annoying. Out. I want and only just dick. Aho girl. Aho girl? What? I, <laughs> I don't know. Like, at the beginning, she was funny. But then, yeah. she started getting annoyingly funny. And uh, it just kind of spoiled the show. Mm, yeah, okay. I, I mean, I enjoyed it. But I, do, I, uh, I agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's, yeah, but then again, I walked out of my like, school days in Conception. And I finished them. I'm, you know, su- I'm so surprised. I actually watched it because I wanted to see why everybody was saying that it's a bad anime, and now I understand. But I guess you could say School Days is, is a good representation. Like, okay, what if you do have a true harem? You know, like it's trying to give you this like this perspective. Okay, Mister, I love harem. What if this actually happens in real life? Because in anime, especially, like, have you ever watched The World Godly Knows? Yes, I love. I watched it. I love it. I've read the manga multiple times but the thing is one thing about Kema, he 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 doesn't want his harem but the thing is he knows how to tackle about ca- uh, uh, girls the guy is a taco at his finest yeah so, he yeah, is he great but he's not as girl hungry as other uh harem like tool of rue and i'm telling you one of my videos i made top three uh smartest characters where i shit on tool of rue i get a lot of hate trust me I got a lot of hate. You have no idea. I'm like, holy crap. Okay, sir. Freaking fuck. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, I get it. I- I'm just saying, like, I- well, yeah, you know, it gets repetitive. School is basically like the opposite of high school DXD. You know? I love high school On DXD. one hand, you have Issei that gets all the girls, you know? Mm. And then on the other hand, you have... Uh, Makoto from school days where he does the same thing that Issei does but he gets killed for it, you know? Uh, no, I, 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 I disagree. Issei is a better character than freaking Makoto. Makoto can freaking no, suck I, this dick. What I'm saying is that the two of them are aiming for the same thing. You know? I mean, I mean, okay. If you remember, if you remember season 3, Akino, she was fed up with, his fa- with her father, right? Yeah. And then there's this one scene where she's like, hey, you say I want to forget about everything. If Makoto was there, he would say, all right, let's fuck. But Issei, he wanted to stop her. So if you ask me, yeah, Issei, Issei has a fine heart. Yes, Issei has much more logic than Makoto with his dick. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, like Makoto, all he cares about, okay, which girl should I fuck next? Is it you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I hate the anime so much, I can't even remember their names. And since you remember it back, yeah. it's like it's like a tumor. It's like you know the re, the re zero sound effects. Like like Subaru just wakes up and like, eh, yeah, I'm having that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, if you guys want to hear more about School Days, I made a review on it. Yeah, I'll the put in the link of the description. Video. Mm-hmm. All right, yo, Anime X has been fun, really. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Um, and hey guys, if there's any recommendations I would give for an isekai, it would definitely be Sword Art Online. Please watch it with an open mind and do not watch... Um, I'm not saying to not watch reviews, but sometimes people drop 
SEO because of reviews. And I'm not saying that reviews are bad. I'm just saying that how about they gain their perspective about SEO, then they can just check out any reviews. Because for me, it's, it's so weird because even uh, like Gaijin Goomba, Anime X, Aki Dearest, uh, Uh, Lily Pichu, they don't really like SAO, but if you ask me, I see no flaws. If there's any flaws, it's the fact that they they don't really know how to portray the world and how they how they really interpret how does Kirito gain strength, how he actually led up to where he is then. But for me, you know, all animes have their own weaknesses, so that's how I'm able to look past that. But for some people, they hold it as like a freaking tempest, you know. <laughs> hey, I, I make a <laughs> ringtone as a slime yeah. reference. But yeah, is there any recommendation that you want to share? Well, uh, for me, if I was to recommend an isekai, I would surely go with Gate. Gate, yep. Gate is a classic. Because like uh, Ricardo as a slime, Gate is totally different. Gate is Because 2015. Normally, right? when you watch isekai, you would expect something like, okay, the guy dies and then he's transported into another world. Yeah. But Gate is different, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, but seriously, just go and watch Gate. Two seasons, amazing anime. Great, it is. I love the voice actors. The voice actor for the main character, I'm just saying, it's freaking good. All right. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> and again, thank you, Anime X. And the third episode for the podcast is still I know it, <laughs> but we'll come soon. And for that, thank you, everyone, and thank you. All right, guys. Till next time. Till. I've been Mihai Block from Adam X, and I'm Kizrael Lee. We'll see you.